Hey guys, it's Darwin, and yeah, this is not usually how I shoot my videos. I'm typically outside on the trail talking about gear, but this week did not really go as planned. After this weekend going to AZT Day and talking about the Arizona Trail Film Project. More romantic comedy You're all nuts for watching it. I appreciate it. However, when the film is done, I would like to show it here in Flagstaff at the theater. Um, I always pronounce it right. All wrong. Somebody pronounce it. And then going out early this week to shoot some new footage and then editing some of that new footage. At the last minute this morning, I tried to go out and shoot a new video for you guys, and I failed miserably. So almost three years ago now, I made a video called Sleeping Bags vs. Quilts, where I talked about why I made the switch and gave you some of the pros to using a quilt while backpacking. Sometimes when you shoot your videos outside, you're kind of at the mercy of the weather. The wind and the rain and the sunlight constantly peeking in and peeking out and screwing up the lighting of your shot. Man. But regardless, I wasn't able to make that video after trying like five times. So I was going to take this week off, but I figured instead of leaving you guys empty handed, I'd let you kind of get a sneak peek at what I got going on and give you a small taste and preview of some footage from the film. Now this footage isn't finished and it will probably look a little bit different when it's in the film, but I figured I would give you guys something. And you might be asking what is with the room? Well, this fall and winter, Snuggles and I decided to get a room so I can continue to work on the film because editing a full length documentary out of a coffee shop is a pretty impossible thing. So here we are in a room. This is like the first time I've done this in three years, so I'm still trying to get used to it. But all that being said, next week we will return to our regular scheduled program. But until then, enjoy this little taste of the AZT film project. And I said, well, there was a little piece, you know, I'm a native of Arizona, so it's just inside the Mexican border, all the way to Utah. It, it just amazed me. And as I was doing it, I was just so proud and wanted to do all I could for the Arizona Trail Association. Getting people out into the wild convinces them naturally that this is something worth protecting. It's something worth voting for, it's something worth funding, it's something worth volunteering for, because without wild spaces, like, we don't have a civilization. And so much of our uh, civilization has encroached on wilderness and in wild places. So trails, I think, help remind people what's important by delivering you to this wild place not far from home. The more the trail becomes known and the more the trail becomes respected, uh, the, the more more reassured it'll, it'll be. No guarantees in life, it'll, it'll sustain. 